Now welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the Avery McLeod and McCarty experiment. Uh, in the last video I told you about the Griff experiment and the uh, transforming principle and uh, Griff was actually working with the uh, pneumococcus uh, bacteria and uh, what he observed in uh, one of his uh, one of his experiment is that when he mixed the uh, live R strain and the heat kill S strain and when this was injected into the mouse the mouse dies this was a very uh, unexpected kind of the result because uh, neither the uh, live R strain nor the heat kill S strain was causing the uh, death of the mouse but when they were mixed with each other and they were injected into the mouse the mouse died he hypothesized that something is transferring from the uh, heat kill S strain into the uh, live R strain thereby converting the live R strain into a smooth strain which was actually causing the uh, death of the mouse and he called this as the uh, transforming principle but he was not sure that what was the transforming principle what was transferring from the uh, heat kill S strain into the live R strain uh, one of the uh, important experiments that proved that the transforming principle is the DNA that was the Avery McLeod and the McCarty experiment and in this particular video we are going to focus on their experiment uh, what they did was that they uh, cultured the uh, smooth cell in the media and after the growth of the cell they centrifuged them and they got the cell at the uh, bottom of the tube when they got the cell they heat kill the uh, they heat kill the smooth cells and after homogenization of the cell they recovered the uh, filtrate of the uh, smooth cells when they got the extract they treated the extract with a different kind of the enzyme which was degrading a specific component of the filtrate one of the uh, important enzyme that they uh, treated the filtrate with was the uh, protease enzymes and the protease enzymes are those enzymes which degrade the uh, protein component of the filtrate. They performed their experiment in 1944 and at that particular time one of the uh, important notion was that protein that is the genetic material and the uh, nucleic acids they are not the genetic material and uh, it was hypothesized that the transforming principle uh, could be the protein. Now when they treated the filtrate with the uh, protease enzyme, the protease was uh, degrading all of the proteins that was, present, uh, that was present in this filtrate. What they did was that they mixed the rough cells with the uh, protease treated uh, smooth cell filtrate which was not having any kind of the protein and they, then they checked that whether the transformation is occurring in the absence of the protein or that is not occurring. What they observed was that the after degradation of the protein still the transformation is occurring and they were getting the uh, smooth cells which was actually causing the uh, death of the mouse. So they, they observed from this particular experiment that the uh, active factor uh, is not protein. That means that the transforming principle is not the protein. In their other experiment they treated the uh, filtrate with the ribonucleases and ribonucleases are special enzymes which degrade only RNA and they do not degrade the DNA. So when they treated the filtrate with the ribonucleases, the ribonucleases were degrading all of the RNA which was present in the filtrate and then they mixed the rough cells and the RNA treated uh, smooth cell filtrate. If RNA was the uh, genetic material, that means that after degradation of the RNA, transformation should not occur. But what they observed was that still the transformation was occurring and they were getting the uh, rough and the smooth cells in the media, thereby concluding that the active factor is not the RNA. In their last experiment, what they did was they treated the filtrate with the deoxyribonuclease and deoxyribonuclease is only degrading the DNA component of this filtrate. So when they degraded the DNA with deoxyribonuclease and they mixed the rough cells with this D DNA's treated filtrate, no transformation that was occurring. And they were only getting the uh, rough cells in their uh, media. 
So from this particular experiment, they concluded that the active factor is DNA and the transforming principle that Griff was describing was the DNA and that was not the protein. Because uh, if the DNA was uh, not the transforming principle, after the uh, degradation of the uh, DNA, transformation should occur. But as no transformation is occurring in the uh, absence of the DNA, uh, thereby proving that DNA is the transforming principle and protein is not the transforming principle.